Hello, 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 and welcome back to Elden Ring. Um, it's been a few days since I last uh, played or recorded or anything. I came down with the dreaded uh, virus that's been sweeping the, uh, the country, and, or the world, as a matter of fact, um, and um, I am still kind of not good with it, but um, I wanted to do some, like, just, like, little bits, just so I could make some progress, basically. Um, this could wind up being a shorter video, depending on how I feel. Um, hopefully I don't feel too bad, and we can just sort of, like, get as much done as possible. Um, but there's two things, mainly, that I wanted to do. Um, I'm hoping they'll both be really easy. Um, I deliberately planned this so they would hopefully both be easy. Um... The first one involves us going back to Kaled. Uh, now, is it Fort Faroth that I want to go to? I think it's Fort Faroth I want to go to. We're going to find out. We're going to find out. Um, come on. Is it this one? Yeah, it's this one. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to kill this guy. I don't really know if there's any purpose to keeping him alive, but um, but I've seen online you get a buttload of souls for killing him. Um, it seems like a fairly easy thing to do. Um, it might take some time, but honestly, I don't mind. So. Um, the trick to doing this is to get a bleed weapon, um, because bleed essentially um, chips away percentage amounts of health. Um, which is what we want, because this guy has an insane amount of health. Um, Yeah, um, this is what we're going to do. And this should get us a good number of souls once we're done. I don't think they're coming for me, but... Um, so, oh, hello bike. Um, so yeah, the past few days I've just kind of been laid up in bed. Not really, uh doing much of anything. Um, honestly, it feels nice to be playing again. Um, even if all I'm doing is mashing R1 into this dragon's thigh. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I've sort of been watching a few videos online of Elden Ring, just to kind of like see where I might be going next. Because I wasn't too sure at the end of the last uh, play session. Uh, okay, I'm not too sure how long these last for, but I've got five of them. Um, and it should give me more runes when we kill this guy. I mean, we're going to find out very quickly, so... There we go, we got him, I think. So now we just let this, uh... Let this play out. And then we should get... A buttload of stuff. Oh, yeah. Five dragon hearts. We also get to see what was under this bad boy. If there is anything indeed under this bad boy. Hmm. I guess there isn't. That's okay, though. 
I'm not, uh, I'm not too mad about that. So did that clear out all of the dragons as well? I heard it kills the ones around him. But all of them dead. Let's go up here. Have a quick, uh, quick looky. So yeah, he was really like, uh, like molded onto the scenery, it seems. Really cool. Really cool. Kind of tragic. I feel kind of like he didn't really stand a chance. Um, but this was one of the cooler enemies in the game. Like, as in, like, cooler, uh, like, NPCs almost, I guess, because he didn't really fight back. Um, it has occurred to me I may not have gotten some amazing footage of him. Um, I have a second character, so I might try and get some, like, cool B-roll of, uh, of this dragon. Um, okay. So next up. Um, uh, what was next up? Good lord. I can't remember anything that I'm doing. So we want to go... Wait. That's Church of the Plague. Sally Gateway. So I think I want to go here. Basically, I missed a NPC. Um, and it was on the road to... Oh god, I forgot about all the enemies. It was on the road to Celia. Um, I found this NPC playing with my other character, um, so I sort of, I've played a little bit off camera, um, just to not get too rusty, I guess, is the main reason. I've got a funny feeling this dog's going to see me. Apparently not. So there's an NPC in here. Pleasure to see you. A pleasure Hello. indeed. I am Gauri, a great sage. In my day, anyway. Hello, Gauri. To ask a favor when one of your ilk came along. Okay, Gauri. Strapping young tarnished, able to cross the scarlet swamp of That's Aenia. me, Gauri. Don't fret. I'll provide fine recompense. Should you accept, I will teach you the secret of Celia, the town you see there. Still up. Then you are willing to lend a hand, are you? <clears throat> I need your help mm. to heal a certain young girl. Her name is Millicent. You will find her beyond Celia, resting at the church atop the cliff, stricken by the rotting sickness. Okay. You found the unalloyed gold needle. As promised, I've detailed the secret of Celia right here. Go on. It's yours. Okay. Now let me have a look at the needle. Hmm. Hmm. Well, well, this is a marvel indeed. The work of a true artisan, a meticulous, bold craftsman who grasps the essence of life. Can you give me some time with this? Sure. As well made as it is, it won't be much use snapped in half, will it? I guess not. Can so, you give me as well okay. made? So what's the law here? Is this his dog? Because it's got a collar on and stuff. That's cool. It's a nice little, like, side Can area. Oh. Well Wanted to read the, uh, the message. Oh dear. Um, okay. So if we now travel to where Millicent is, do we now have like a unique thing we can do with her? Um, we're gonna level up before we do anything. Um, we're gonna level up a few times. Damn. So I'm thinking more health. Um, yeah. 
matter of fact, we are just going to pump health. Um, I anticipate... So, I was watching a few videos, and a lot of people were saying that people aren't pumping enough into health. Um, apparently health is a lot more uh, important in this game than it is in other games. Uh, because your physical and different resistances don't carry you quite as far as having a high HP total does. Um... All right, so can I talk to you now? Otherwise, you will leave immediately. My flesh rides. Okay. Nothing yet. I'm just wondering if I like wait now for like a bit. What happens if I wait till nightfall? Sometimes stuff happens at night. Hello. No, okay, nothing. Uh, well, it's been like a day. Should we see if uh, our boy Gowrie... Oh yeah, they did an update. Um, it adds a bunch of icons for where NPCs are. So if I go to Gowrie's shack, it says Sage Gowrie is there. Um, similarly, uh, just as another example, if I go to uh, Lake, Flac Lake Facing Cliffs, uh, Bok the Seamster is there. So uh, yeah, that's really friggin' cool. I like that a lot. Like, I like that a lot, a lot. Um, it helps you keep track of where you need to go to keep up with all of your quests. Um, it's something that is a really, really good quality of life feature that I'm so glad they've added. I know, like, a lot of people like how uh, vague Souls is, but there are moments where I think it's fine for the game to hold your hand and be like, yeah, you know what, if you want to do this quest, go here. Um, and this game benefits so much from that. So, yeah. Um, God, we're actually going to be fast travelling back here again for the final thing as well. Um, provided this first thing actually is something. Um, this is my first time doing this, by the way. I didn't do this with my other character, so I have no idea if... Uh, if me returning now actually does anything for me. Is the dog friendly? Once we're done talking to Gowrie, we're gonna see if the dog's friendly. I have awaited your return. The needle is repaired. Now it will forestall the rotting sickness. Ah, action. okay. I'll give it to the girl. Absolutely. Unalloyed gold needle. At the church atop the cliff beyond Celia, the town yonder, tended to by the weightless pests who worship her, or rather her rotting sickness, as a god. A oh. wretched fate, indeed. The poor girl. She she's a god. Or she's being worshipped as a god. That I would show such concern for the girl. A little. I'm the one that found her. A mere babe in the swamp of Aeonia. I like she your robes. One of my dear daughters. But the rotting sickness erodes one's memory. I doubt that she remembers the first thing about me. Oh, I must be getting old. I didn't huh. always worry so much. Interesting. <laughs> All you need to do is deliver the needle to Millicent. She's convalescing in the church. A dog do so. Okay. Oh, the dog's going to attack me, isn't it? Come on, let's see. Are you evil? Oh, yep, he's evil. Ah. Oh, no. No, even though I have been playing, <laughs> it does not quite, um, <laughs> oh man, I'm not good. <laughs> okay, back up to the church. Killed that poor man's dog. Now we go back to the church. 
to ask for forgiveness for killing the poor man's dog. If you are wise, you will leave my flesh. You ask that I stab myself with the needle. Maybe. To quell the scarlet rot. But sure. How? <laughs> Never mind. I've decided. I yeah. would rather trust you. Oh no. Than simply continue to spoil from within. Okay. Would you mind averting your eyes for a moment? <laughs> I did it. <laughs> oh, she's going to turn evil, isn't she? I'm not a fan of this. Well, that was easier than expected. Okay. Does she have one arm? Why do I feel so... Yeah. Oh no. Oh, did we just friggin' kill her? Yeah, if I have a rest. Oh, she's up now. I hoped to see you again. My apologies for when last we met. I fainted before I could even thank you. Everything is as you said. Since inserting the needle, the scarlet rot has ceased to writhe. Even hmm. the nightmares have abated. And so just checking out her arm. Though I can scarcely believe it myself. It's a cool uh, design. I please. Not that I could ever truly repay you, but I would like you to have this by way of thanks. A token, though it is. Prosthesis where I am. Huh. I'm considering leaving on a journey. That went really well for you the first time. Flesh. I've started to recall, but dimly, my destiny. It's all oh. thanks to you. My name is Millicent. I pray fate permits us meet again. Okay. I'm considering leaving. Oh, okay, it's the same. On a journey with um, my destiny. All right, let's see what um what the thing that she gave us is. What are these? Ah, Reese's Dexterity. Okay, that's cool. That's very cool. Yeah, depending on how this sounds, I might actually try just lowering the register of my voice a little bit when I record in general. Because honestly, it feels kind of soothing to just talk like this. I mean, it's probably because uh, of the whole virus thing, but... <laughs> um, okay. We have one more thing to do, and we have to go uh, back here again. Um, I don't know how this one's going to go, because this actually involves me having some skill in combat. Um, okay. I'm not quite sure where I'm going, but apparently there's a boss around here that can only be fought at night time. So, yeah, there it is. Okay, cool. What on earth is it? Oh, it's a death bird. Oh, my lord. Ah. Uh... Wait, does it use Blackfire? Oh god. I can't see. Oh my god. Ooh, okay. We can do this. Um, that was just a little bit of a clusterfuck. <clears throat> it does frostbite. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. 
It does frostbite, even though it looks like black flame. I hope it scales with faith, whatever it is, if we get it. Um, oh, past time, sorry. Losing my brain a little bit. Uh, this should be fine, we should be able to do this. Just need to focus up for a little bit. do I can't really I don't I don't know what's happening okay again I don't like the um, the terrain of this fight Need to try and find like an open space. But everything's got stuff. found like a bit of arena that's kind of flat so we don't get too stuck on scenery I think that's the thing I hate most about this game um, and that is just like how jagged some of the scenery is for some of the fighting I and mean, I don't know maybe I should be using it more to my advantage if that's the thing I can do is that a thing I can do not sure. Could we have him turn around? Nope. Oh, you know what? hate how messy the camera gets sometimes. so far. Damn it. Let's just heal again.
Ow. Oh, man. Um. Oh, I don't want this to be a long one. No, it's only been 10 minutes. That's okay. Um. No, we can do this. We can do this. I think on foot is better. I think. I don't know for sure. Um, we'll obviously uh, approach on uh, horseback, but uh, we're going to let our souls go as well. I don't want to be distracted. so much. That's gonna hurt. Stand. Oh, it didn't actually deal that much damage. Wait, why are they still there? Okay. Wait. Interesting. Oh, no. No. Heal, heal, heal. No. That could be it. I need to be able to see. Heal. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Last heal. I can't see. <laughs> we got his weapon what does it do <laughs> sorry it's just I went through the whole fight without um, cheesing it and then I decided to just throw a fireball at the end which might have been a good call I'm not going to lie um get those back as well. Alright, let's uh, let's go to a safe space. Matter of fact, let's go back to uh, the round table hold. Okay. Um, do I... Wait, how much do I need to level up? Oh, good lord. I'm so used to my values being so much lower because I've been playing with my other character. <laughs> Um, what was it? Oh yeah, we don't need Reduvia either. What is it? Oh, is it that? Are we for real? It's another intelligence weapon. There's so many cool intelligence weapons, man. I really like 
I wish they'd done a little bit more, like, stuff for people who don't have a magic build going. Like, there's some cool faith stuff, but, like, I don't know, there's so much stuff that I can't use that looks cool. Things like the katanas and, uh, and stuff like that. So that's an arcane thing. The ripple blade. Sorry, I just want to see what it looks like. Oh, it's that. Okay. Um, right, is there anything else that I can do in this little, like, side adventure? I need to try and remember. Oh, there is one more thing, actually. Um, hang on. Uh, wait, how long have we been going for? Yeah, let's see if we can do it. Um, this is another nighttime thing. I did this with my other character, who's lower level, so this should be okay. Um, but there's a knight's cavalry um, on the bridge here. As a matter of fact, I think we um, we did have a go at fighting it, I believe. Um, I don't really remember how I beat this thing. I was using Quick Step and an Ultra Great Sword with my other character. Doing really bad damage, I don't get it. So with my other character, I was actually dealing really good damage. I don't understand. Why am I doing terrible damage with this character, but my other character is dealing like chunks, and I mean like chunks of damage. And for the record, like, my other character is not that invested into, like, strength or anything. Um, I was two-handing the... I think it's just called the Greatsword. Yeah. So I was two-handing... I think I've got it. Uh, yeah, I was two-handing the Greatsword. Um... And I was dealing so much more. But like, I, I was nowhere near as upgraded as I am with this character. So why is my damage not good? I'm really confused. So like, to put this into perspective, my other character is, I think, level 40, 45, something like that. And I was able to chunk that Black Knight for his health. Like, and I do mean chunk it. But with this character, I don't seem to be able to do it. Maybe I could try one-handing? I didn't breath. I didn't wait. I mean, it could just be a case if I need to just get better at the fight, but... Like... I was doing it fine. I should have recorded it, and then I could have just shown you it with that character instead of this one. And then you also would have gotten to have seen the damage difference, which is bizarre. Because I've not leveled him to scale well with that greatsword particularly. He still has to two-hand it to even use it. My damage is shocking. Oh. I just didn't feel like dodging that one. Oh. Okay. I did dodge that one, though. Oh. Damn, I thought this was going to be easy. I had such an easy time with it yesterday. 
What is happening? Maybe it's just he's not susceptible to this weapon? Or am I literally just terribly built with this character? Oh, I know a test. Hang on. Hang on. Let's see how well built I am with this character. So, with the Ultra Great Sword, I can two shot the guys up here with my level 45 character. I think it's like a plus nine great sword. Whereas this is like a plus, well, I'll tell you in a second. So we're gonna go for the backstab as well. Okay, that's a one shot, so that's okay. So I would have to do a backstab and then a further two, no, one hit with the ultra great sword. I mean... My damage isn't off. I don't really understand. I'm not too sure why my other character had such an easier time with that Black Knight. Because... This is easy. Whereas I still struggle sometimes with these guys, with my other character. Whereas, like, yeah, right now I'm just breezing. I'm breezing through. Um, if you're uh, starting a new character, by the way, this is a great farming spot. Um, just come here. These guys do hit hard. Um, but they give you... A thousand souls a pop. An early game. That's ridiculous. Like 1,313. If you've got a bunch of gold Falfoots as well to go on top of that. Um, you get a crazy amount of, uh, of runes from this. Uh, so if you're trying to start a second character and you want to like speed level a little bit. This is, like, the place to go in the early stages. It's very safe. Because they're fairly spread out. Um, there's only one spot where there's more than one of them in close proximity, and it's over where I'm facing right now. Um, I, but I generally just ignored that little section to begin with until I was confident, and then I took them all on, but... <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. Ah. So yeah, I still haven't defeated this dragon with either of my characters. <laughs> um, okay, well, I think we're going to leave it. Um, just because... Sorry, I want to go back to the round table hold so I don't have to listen to uh, the weather effects too heavily. Um, So yeah, this was sort of like a mini side episode, and I guess also a bit of a catch-up episode. Um, I mean, because of how much I've pre-recorded in front, you guys won't even really notice when I got ill. Um, the videos will just keep going up pretty much as usual. Um, you may have noticed a little bit of a slowdown here and there, and that was when I was like, bedridden to the point where I literally just couldn't bring myself to turn my console on to upload. Um, so there were a couple of days, I think, where I barely uploaded anything, if anything at all. Um, but yeah, um, I wanted to do something just to feel like I'm making progress. So I figured I'd do a nice easy episode which involved, yeah, killing a big dragon, finishing Millicent's quest, or starting it, maybe, I'm not sure. Uh, killing a death bird, and getting my ass handed to me by a black knight on a bridge. Um, so that black knight on the bridge, by the way, um, he drops a really, really cool weapon art. Um, it's basically an upgraded quick step. Um, 
it's called the Bloodhound Step, and it's really awesome, especially if you want to be like a sort of an anime edgelord kind of character where you're sort of fading around and zipping in and out of combat. Um, it's, it's very cool. Um, and um, like my other character, um, he's a very low endurance build, but he uses an ultra great sword. Um, and I've basically used all of my other stats to go into HP and FP, um, and obviously strength to use the weapon. Um, but then I'm uh, so he's on a fat roll because he's wearing heavy armor, but um, and he also has very low stamina, so he can't attack too many times. But um, he can use the Bloodhound Step pretty much infinitely, which is really cool. Um, and the Bloodhound Step gives you a fast dodge, even when you're at heavy equip load. Um, which might not mean anything to some people, but um, yeah. As a matter of fact, you know what? I never actually showed this off. This would be a good time to do that. It's a very basic mechanic from the Souls series. Um, and it's been in all of the Souls games. Um, so when you roll, you, a typical roll will look like this. Um, it gives you an okay amount of iframes, it's relatively quick, there's not too much recovery time, like I can, this is me pushing the button as quick as I can. Um, but, uh, what you'll notice is I have a quip load on the right hand side, uh, a little bit above where all of my spells are, you'll see a quip load, and it says medium load. See now, if I get it down to light load my roll is even better um, it provides me with more iframes and it's faster um, we are of course going to put my shirt back on this is far too lewd for, for young eyes um, <laughs> Uh, but you can also go the other way, and you can go up from medium load into heavy load, so let's, uh, let's do this the easiest way I know how. Um, this is the sword I'm using with my other character. <laughs> uh, my character is not built for this sword. But what you get is what's known as a fat roll. And I am now pushing the button as fast as I can. It's much slower. Um... And I believe the only iframes you get are during the initial flip. So whilst I'm on the floor at the end, like with my butt hitting the floor, I don't believe any of that is an iframe, which means enemies can deal damage to you whilst you're doing that. So it leaves you very, very vulnerable. Um, <clears throat> the way I've got it set up on my other character, though, is... Uh, so it's not exactly like this because I don't have the skill unlocked, but so my character is on a fat roll, but he has a skill that enables him to dodge like quick step. Um, which basically means that as long as I've got FP, I get a crazy amount of iframes on my dodge. Um, so I've equipped this Bloodhound step that I got off that Black Knight off of the bridge onto this Ultra Greatsword. Um, now, if you could just imagine a weapon that swings with this amount of ferocity, but instead of having a roll like this, you have like a, a super quick roll. Like, it's really awesome. Um... And I figured I didn't want my character to be, like, broken video game character kind of vibes. I wanted my character to feel organic within the world. So I sort of uh, thought to myself, well, if this character had lore, then I'd say that, you know, he's incredibly fast considering the size of the sword he wields. But as a trade-off, he has very little stamina. Like... Um, and I think it's really cool. Um, and it also means that if my FP hits zero, I'm stuck with a fat roll, which means I have to actually think about what I'm doing still. I can't just have the best of both worlds and be absolutely fine. Um, so yeah, I, I really like what I've done with my other character. 
And there's a big part of me that kind of wants to do the rest of the playthrough with my other character. But um, I think I've come too far with this guy and I've got too much ground to retread with my other character to switch. So, um, yeah, we're probably going to stick with this guy. Um, as for um, my damage output on that Black Knight, I'm still very confused. Um, so, um, I think I'm using a plus seven, um, uh, one of those on my other character. I'm using a plus 17 Godskin Peeler, and I have better stats for use with the Godskin Peeler than I have for use with the Greatsword. But I'm not dealing as much damage. Like, as in, like, and I mean, like, nowhere near. Like, like you could argue, of course, like, um, you know, this is a fast weapon, so it shouldn't deal as much damage. But I'm kind of taking that into consideration. So, like, I'm thinking of, like, you know, overall DPS kind of thing. You know, like, how much damage would I deal over a course of, I don't know, two minutes in a battle with something with a huge health bar? Um, and this is really weak. I don't know what's going on. Um, I might need to look into it a bit more. I mean, the scaling is strength and dex. See, the thing is, I don't think I can change... Hello, bike. I don't think I can change the scaling without changing the Ash of War. But I really like the Ash of War. Uh... <coughs> Hang on, if I do this... Uh, no, you can just... Undo it. Okay. Damn. You never know. Maybe I'll find this um, as an Ash of War, the Black Flame Tornado, and then I can change its scaling so it scales with faith. That'd be nice. Anyways, um, this video's gone on for longer than I intended. My throat's really starting to hurt now, so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna call it here. Um, but it's been nice to play again after a few days break. Um, I'd really hoped to uh, complete the game before I even went back to work. Yet alone before I went back to work and then got sent home from work because I was ill. Um, <laughs> so yeah, this hasn't gone quite as smoothly as I'd hoped. It's my fault. Um, I'm not learning the game as I should be, really. Um... I need to devote more time to getting just good at it, like I have the other Souls games. Um, I don't know, I just, I guess, like, recording videos has changed the pace of how I do things quite a bit. Uh, I'm really, uh, I'm still adjusting to this style of uh, playing a game for the first time. Um, it can be quite difficult to find a balance between, like, constantly achieving something new but also learning how to play the game well because um, I think typically it's a slow process but obviously I need to try and keep it quite snappy for videos um, and I don't want to be editing like every episode if I can help it um, and anyways, I said I was going to go, and I do need to, so um, thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one, where hopefully I will have decided where we're going next. Um, but yeah, um, farewell.